guys! I am 25 weeks and one day pregnant today. Um, I, you're probably going to sound, or hear, I sound winded. I'm just winded all the time. I feel like this baby is just huge. It's just, he or she is just gigantic baby. Um, I have been ridiculously tired this last week, so I filmed... <laughs> This happens all the time. I filmed my 24-week update, and then, like, later that day or the next morning, I just started just getting extreme fatigue and, like, you know, some, some other symptoms um, in more powerful doses, I should say, because I've had them the whole time. Um, so I'm, I'm very tired all the time, and I think that's a combination of being pregnant and working um, the late hours. Because sometimes I get off at 10, sometimes I get off at 12.30. So I think that both of those combined are making me a very tired mama. We, my husband and my son are off for Thanksgiving week, so that's good. So any time that I work, like tonight I work until 11 or 11.30 and the same thing tomorrow. I get to sleep in um, until whenever I wake up. It's usually about 9 or 10. Um, and Will wakes up with the kids, so yay! Thanks, honey. Um, so I've been really tired just all the time. My acid reflux, full swing, all the time. <laughs> um, I also took my second and last gestational diabetes test for this pregnancy. If you don't remember, I had gestational diabetes with my daughter. And if you have it in one pregnancy, you're like twice as likely to get it in the next pregnancy or something. So I had it 12 weeks and I passed and I had it, it I passed today. I'm so excited. I took the three, uh, I'm sorry, the three hour test both times because I, I fail. I failed the one hour with my son. I failed the one hour with my daughter. I, so I just, both of these times this time, I'm like, just skip to the three hour. Um... So I'm very, very excited that I don't have to be as careful watching what I eat. Because um, if you've ever had gestational diabetes, I mean, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, I've met it's much harder. Um, but, or maybe not, you know, maybe not. Um, but I was so sick of peanut butter and cheese by the end of my daughter's pregnancy. So now it's nice, like, I can have a piece of pie without having to eat, like, four slices of cheese with it, you know, because that's the thing about gestational diabetes. You have to balance, like, equal or more protein with the amount of carbs and sugar that you have. So it's just you're eating so much peanut butter and cheese or, like, meat. I mean, who wants to eat, like, you know, spoonfuls of ground beef? Anyway, so yay, I passed that. Um, like I said, my stomach, I just feel huge. I don't think that I look that big, but I'm full. I'm full all the time. It's like, this baby is just, I don't know, huge. Even though at my anatomy scan, if you remember, um, he or she was measuring two days behind, which, I mean, doesn't really mean anything, but it was the first time I've ever had a baby measure behind instead of ahead. Um, and it's funny, at work, when I'm standing there um, working, Whenever the baby kicks, I don't know why I keep wanting to call her she today. I don't know. I've been wanting to call her she lately, um, even though I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But when I'm standing there, the baby kicks behind my belly button only. It's like the only place that this baby will kick while I'm at work standing there. So it's really funny. I'll just put my hand on my belly button and, <laughs> and I'll, I was again, I was going to say her. I feel uh, the baby kick, which means it's probably going to be a boy. Um, I'm trying to think... If there's anything significant other than my fatigue, my acid reflux, feeling full, um, again, when Emily nurses, it's, it's actually getting a little bit better. It still hurts, but I think it's because she nurses less, so I notice it less. Hmm, I think... I think that's it. I feel bad. Every single video... I'm like, I think that's it. I, I, I feel completely unprepared, so I, I'm sorry that I always say that. <laughs> it's starting to get cooler here, so that's nice. I'm not hot all the time. I've actually been sleeping with a blanket at night. What? And, and these are my jammies. That's why I'm only, <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> not get too far down. But uh, from here up is where I'm filming. But like long sleeve and long pant jammies. I mean, cool here. It's been like, like today I think was 65, which I love. I wish it was 65 year round here. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So just 
just getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm going to cook a yummy Thanksgiving meal that I don't have to feel guilty about eating carbs since I don't have the diabetes. Woo! I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm just going to talk about that forever because I'm so excited I don't have it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my 25-week belly and measure it. So, you know, shirt's a little short. So, yeah. Again, I don't feel like I look significantly bigger, but I definitely feel, I think, I was 37 last time, let's see. Maybe 38 last time, I'm not sure. Nope, 38 and a quarter, so I must have been 38 last time. So yeah, he or she, even though I keep wanting to call her she, oh, and my belly button. <laughs> I think my belly button's going to pop out in the next couple of weeks. Because with Jackson, my belly button never popped out, but then with Emily, it did. So I have a feeling with this one, it's like I can really feel that my belly button's not as deep as it used to be. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving if you guys celebrate it. Um, questions, comments, leave them down below, and I will talk to you guys for week 26. Bye!